What's up, Clean Freaks? It's Hank Balch here. You're watching Beyond Clean, and you're tuning in to the Fighting Dirty series where we talk about all things sterile processing. And on uh, today's video, we're going to be talking about sterilization, uh, the sterile in sterile processing, and a little basic introduction to what that is in the workflow of the department. So this video is going to be great for brand new folks that are thinking about getting into sterile processing, or maybe for students that are just now tipping their toes into the water, uh, getting your hours in, maybe for your externship. So we're going to be talking about what that stage is, that sterilization stage, what you do in that space, how you get a sign, what you should be aware of, all those kinds of things. But before we get into the meat of the video, I just want you, if you haven't already, to hit subscribe to the channel. We'd love you forever, and especially if you hit the bell, because that little alarm will notify you anytime we get a new video that drops. A lot of our videos are approved for CE content, especially the podcast and our conferences. And so once you get certified, if you're not already, you can watch those and get CE credit as well to recertify each and every year. Okay, we're talking about the sterilization of surgical instruments and that phase in the workflow. So, so far we've talked about decontamination. That's kind of where the instruments start in their journey in sterile processing. And we talked about the clean side, the assembly area, the prep and pack area. And now we're going to be talking about sterilization. So this is all of our trays have been packaged. They're all ready to go. They're labeled, uh, they're taped, they're prepped, they're locked. They're waiting for us uh, to choose now when and where they go in the sterilization stage. So if you've not seen a department yet, envision these uh, large metal equipment known as autoclaves or sterilizers. That's where these trays are going if they're going to be steam sterilized. But some of the trays you're going to end up in what's called low temperature sterilization. So this is hydrogen peroxide sterilization. Sometimes it's ethylene oxide, although a lot of the ETO sterilization um, is not as common as it used to be. We'll say it that way. Uh, but for the most part, you're going to be using predominantly steam sterilization. Almost all of your instruments are going through that Uh that type of sterilization, also known as a modality. Um, but if it's a more complex instrument, if it's got batteries especially, sometimes if it has different lenses or computer chips, that's when it would go in that low temperature um, modality uh, through hydrogen peroxide sterilization. Either way, at this stage, the technician, the sterile processing technician who's working in the sterilization area, they have to figure out where each one of these trays and containers and packages go. And if they can't tell just by looking at the name of the equipment, if there is a tracking system that's involved, many times if they scan the tray, the tracking system will tell them, hey, this is a steam instrument or this is a low temperature hydrogen peroxide instrument. Now, simply knowing the right modality, steam or low temp, uh, gets you most of the way there, but it doesn't get you all the way there. Because even within steam, for instance, there's different uh, parameters, different cycles of loads that these instrument trays will go in. Sometimes they're cooked at a little higher temperature. Sometimes they're uh, cooked or sterilized for a little bit longer, you know, 270 for four minutes maybe 273 for eight minutes, maybe 270 for 10 minutes, you know, depending on what the manufacturer of that device requires. And it's important in, in this assignment area that you're aware of and that you're not just making your own decisions for what cycles uh, to sterilize these devices in because each of these manufacturers have done tests on the device. This is called validation. And as they created the devices, they got them validated. They did testing to make sure if you sterilize it at a particular temperature for a particular amount of time in a particular modality, and they're basically saying we can validate that if you do it this way, under normal circumstances, that tray and that instrument will be sterile. 
If you just uh, choose whatever temperature and time that you want to sterilize it at, it may go through the cycle. But at the end, there's no data that says it's actually sterile, right? So just because something goes through a cycle in an autoclave and out the other side or out the same side once the cycle is done, that does not mean something has been sterilized. It just means it has gone through a load. It just means it got real hot. The only way that we've got any data that says that something is um, sterile or most likely sterile, that's that uh, ster that sterility assurance level that if you're studying for your certification exam, uh, you're going to learn what your uh, what your SAL is, your sterility assurance, but that's 10 to the negative 6. Um, and that is the chances that something comes out that's not sterile. So um, in this assignment area, you got to know what instruments are you processing, which modality are they going in, high temp or low temp, and within those modalities, what cycles are required by the manufacturer. In addition to that, uh, you need to be aware of how to load these different sterilizers and autoclaves because it's not a magic box. You can't just throw anything in any way you want to. You got to load it appropriately to the sterilizer's own manufacturer's instructions. And then once they're loaded, you got to make sure that you set the right load parameters and especially that you're running all required tests and documentation on those loads. So there's a lot going on when you're assigned to this sterilization area. It's not just pushing buttons. It's not just throwing things into equipment and then hoping they come out correct on the other end. There's a lot of science. There's a lot of compliance that goes into it, but it is a fun place to be assigned in SPD. And I know a lot of folks like working in it because it's kind of like a Jenga puzzle, or, you know, like a Tetris puzzle many times because you're plugging in different trays and different packages to make sure that you got a full load and that you've got an efficient flow of instruments going through that sterilization uh, step. All right, that's going to do it for this little intro into what is sterilization or what's the sterilization assignment in sterile processing. Stay tuned for more. We're going to talk about uh, what is the, the storage and distribution stage of this workflow and what happens in that uh, place on the next video. But until we get to that, like we like to say around Beyond Clean all the time, keep fighting dirty every instrument every time. And until we talk again soon. For the clean breaks, we're happy on the scene. We got it going on, running five years strong. We're fighting so dirty, yet keeping it clean. Where do you go when you're a sterile processing pro to have conversations that no one else is having? How do you access expert subject matter? Well, look no further. Got a digital gathering. We're so clean, yeah, like beyond clean for all the clean freaks out there listening. We're having discussions and talking info, getting bigger with over a million podcast downloads. Splish, splash, we're doing our thing for the clean freaks. We're happy on the scene. We got it going on, running five years strong. We're fighting so dirty, yet keeping it clean. Yeah. Splish, splash, we're doing our thing for the clean freaks. We're happy on the scene. We got it going on, running five years strong. Hey, shout out to sterile processing. Combating myths and misconceptions on a regular basis. We won't leave you guessing. Setting things in motion and answering questions. Come and take a listen if you want to learn a lesson. Decontaminating and sterilizing. So much work goes into it, no one realizes. But we take it serious when we're on the scene. Keeping it beyond clean before every surgery. Splish, splash, we're doing our thing for the clean breaks. We're happy on the scene. We got it going on, running five years strong. We're fighting so dirty, yet keeping it clean. Yeah. Split splash, we're doing a thing for the clean freaks. We're heavy on the scene. We got it going on, running five years strong. Hey, shout out to sterile processing.